Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to part one of my What to Buy at Trader Joe's series. I am a huge fan of just about everything at Trader Joe's, but there are definitely some items that I enjoy more than others. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top five frozen items from Trader Joe's, ones that you should definitely try if you ever get a chance. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now just a few things before I get started. Now since this is the first video in my Trader Joe's series, I thought I would share a little bit about Trader Joe's in case you haven't heard. Trader Joe's is a chain of grocery stores which originated in Southern California. It's similar to a Whole Foods market because you can find a lot of organic items there, a lot of non-GMO products, things without preservatives, and things like that. Trader Joe's stores are really popular in California where I'm from, but they're quickly popular popping up around the country. And as always, if you're not already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you're a fan of Trader Joe's. Now let's get started. So in the number five category of favorite frozen foods, I actually have several different things. I know that's kind of cheating, but for number five, I have mac and cheese at Trader Joe's. There are so many different kinds of mac and cheese available, you can definitely find something for everyone. First up, we have my children's favorite mac and cheese. This is the pepperoni pizza mac and cheese bowl, and I can probably feed three of them with this one box, and it is $2.99. So basically you have the regular macaroni noodles, but they add a little bit of marinara and pepperonis to this. It is really good. Then I like both of these. This one is the reduced guilt mac and cheese. So this one has 65% less fat and 25 percent fewer calories, so it's a little bit healthier for you. This was only $1.99 for this box. And one box is this serving size. It has 270 calories, in case you're curious. And this last kind is what I would choose if I wasn't counting calories, because this one is really, really good. This is the Hatch Chili Mac and Cheese, and this has roasted chilies, from Hatch, New Mexico, it is really good. It's really not that spicy, it just has a really good chili flavor, but this one has two servings and it's 260 calories per serving. This is also 2.99, very good. Now they usually also will have a gluten-free version, which would be my husband's choice, but when I was shopping today, they didn't have any in stock. So lots of different kinds of mac and cheese. They are all excellent. My next favorite item would have to be these chicken nuggets. Now these aren't just any chicken nuggets. These are actually gluten-free, so everyone in my whole family can enjoy them. Gluten-free chicken nuggets are kind of hard to find, and if you do find them, they're usually really expensive or they don't taste like regular chicken nuggets, but these definitely do. These are $4.99. Let's see, you get a one pound bag. And I like that it says on here that they're raised without antibiotics and it's boneless white meat chicken. So it's a really good quality as well. So you can definitely add these to a salad. That's how I like to have them. The kids like to dip them in barbecue sauce. They're really good. And I actually like to prepare these in my air fryer. So you get like a really crispy coating, but it's not really fried. So it's a little bit healthier too. Definitely a good choice even if you're not gluten-free. Next up, I have pizza. Now, at Trader Joe's, you can actually find a wide variety of frozen pizzas, and not only are they really tasty, but they're surprisingly inexpensive. Now, this pizza was $4.99, so it does seem a little bit pricey for this size, but you guys, this is actually a gluten-free pizza with a cauliflower crust. So, if you're gluten-free, you'll probably know that to find things like this, it's usually really expensive, a lot more. And you guys, the cauliflower crust is actually really good. You almost can't tell at all. It just tastes like a regular cheese pizza. But what we like to do is actually doctor it up. We will add pepperonis on there or some bell pepper and onion. It's really good. And it cooks really fast. This one pizza is enough for my husband and I to share, and usually we'll just get a regular frozen pizza from Trader Joe's for the kids. And the regular ones are actually like $2.99, they're really a good deal. Next up, I have just about everyone's favorite from Trader Joe's. This is the Mandarin Orange Chicken, and this is actually fully cooked, you just have to heat it up. 
This is another one that I really like to prepare in the air fryer because it really makes it taste like it came from the Chinese restaurant, but you made it at home. So this whole bag is 22 ounces and it's $4.99. And it actually comes with the mandarin orange ginger sauce. It is excellent. When I make this, I like to stir fry some vegetables and then serve it over rice. And I'd say we pick up one of these just about every time we go to Trader Joe's. Now I saved the best for last. This is definitely my personal favorite thing from their frozen section at Trader Joe's. And it's something that I recently discovered and it is so good. This is the butter chicken with basmati rice. It's fully cooked, you just have to heat it up. It comes with the chicken, the sauce, and the rice. But I do have to warn you guys, it is pretty spicy. I really like spicy foods, but my kids would definitely not like this. But if you're not into spicy foods, I definitely recommend trying this one instead. This is the chicken tikka masala, and it's, it's pretty similar to this one, but a lot less spicy. And if you're not into chicken, they also have a vegetarian version of this as well. This one was $3.49, and this one was $3.69, and this one actually is a lot bigger than this one for the price, so this is a good deal as well. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to a Trader Joe's, what is your favorite frozen item? Because I'd love to try your favorite as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.